Aaron Ozzy, Director of Marketing at Music Theater Works. I'm coming to you live from the North Shore Center for Performing Arts in Skokie. Today is another very exciting day for Music Theater Works as we enter day two of the second production of our 2022 season, Disney's The Little Mermaid. And sitting with me today is one of our very talented cast members. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Anakin J. Swite. I go by he, him, his pronouns, and I play Jetson in The Little Mermaid. Well, thank you so much for making time before the show to yeah. answer a few questions. Uh, um, as I was telling you already, I, I really been there since day one seeing all of you work together not just the cast but work with the creative team as well and yeah. uh it seems like you know uh two parts of a brain like it's almost perfect mm -hmm. because it comes together so well and from the planning phase and rehearsal and getting up to tech it's just such a process that you guys have followed to bring such a classic disney tale to life but it's yeah. staying true to the animated film but at the same time, which is also a staple of many of our childhoods, but yeah. it's also sprinkling in a little maturity to it because it's live action. And that's something personally for me as a theater goer that I have never seen before. And so it was very refreshing to see that from a different lens. Mm -hmm. But it's also kind of nice because Hello. we did the show during this season, which this season for us at Music Theater Works is very different than any other season before it. And next year, Disney is actually coming out with the live action Little yeah. Mermaid. So, and if we did it next year, they wouldn't allow us to do that. So because they kind of have like a, if they're putting on a show or they're they're releasing a movie about one specific uh, story, like reviving that, no one else can do any, you know, plays, musicals, anything of the such, because they kind of reserve all that right. So we just made it the right time. And I think Disney is one of those nice little gems this year, you know, that's, you know, appealing to just about every, you know, uh, everyone out there there is, you know, just all of their audiences. So. What has it been like really to get involved with Music Theater Works and become a part of this production? Yeah, so this is my first production with Music Theater Works. And I think just like when it comes to this production in general, uh, I mean, I love doing Disney shows. I've done a couple in the past. Okay. And I, I think the best part, just like bringing it together, was getting to see the kids in the audience. Yeah. Um, I mean, every every show we've done so far, we've always had kids like finishing our lines for us and stuff like that. And it's really been, That's it's, so it's been fun. Like <laughs> getting to see them interact with us has really been just the best part of this experience. And I think that every time we go backstage after something happens like that, the cast always brings it up. And it's, it's, it's a really like beautiful thing to witness because we get to see that we're actually like changing people's lives and stuff like that and getting to have these kids and giving them something to remember. Yeah, you jump into a really important uh, point, uh, Anakin, which is really now that we're a resident theater company in the North Shore Center and last season we were just primarily holding shows in the Center Theater. This is the first season where we're doing it in both the Center Theater and the North Theater. Mm -hmm. And the North Theater allows us to create a more immersive uh, and intimate experience for the audience yeah. because, I mean, immediately, you know, when you walk into the inner lobby of the North Theater, it, it puts you in the mood like you're about to watch The Little Mermaid. Yeah. And, you know, but the special thing about the theater is that you can get so close, sit right around the stage, and you all can talk to the audience, talk directly to them. And for kids who are sitting that close, just their eyes get so wide, so bright, and they're just so mesmerized by what they're watching. And to take that home with you as performers, I mean, that's very special. I'm yeah. so, I mean, it's probably going to be an amazing feeling you know and it, that's just so great you know and it, because disney really appeals to so many people and you know i mean not everybody of course but enough yeah. and you know it, it's one of those like i said it's one of those staples of our childhoods and you know this is something this is a tale that we've known for a long time and uh you know it's, it, i think it just connects so well and uh it's a nice thing for music theaters to delve into because you know a lot of our shows have been you know quite mature you know but this is something we're trying to, you know, appeal to everyone in the local community. So yeah. now I know that certain people you've worked with in the cast year, you may have worked with before, may have not. What has it been like to work with all these new people in this production? I mean, it's been amazing. I mean, we've had like our difficulties when it comes to COVID and stuff like that. So it's, Absolutely. we've definitely been through a lot together. And uh, I mean, I, I came into this rehearsal process a week later than everyone else. Okay. So I immediately was welcomed with open arms and stuff like that so i i don't i don't know i feel like i've really been able to connect with people um i mean we we've had like birthdays with the cast and everything and everyone's been able to celebrate it together which has really made it feel like a family yeah, so, yeah. you guys are really a big family i mean you could just feel that there's powerful chemistry between all of you but 
with your connection with the audience, you know, the, uh, the amazing crew working backstage, you know, everyone's always thinking, always improving at all times, just trying to make the show better every single performance. And this is considerably a long run. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they're still uh, have 20 plus performances yeah. remaining and that's great, you know, yeah. because we have enough time to really communicate all the powerful messages out of the show to so many different people. And that core message is really love, yeah. you know, and I think love is a very important message to carry with us, especially coming out of the COVID-19 pandemic. I mean, it, it lasted for over two years and, you know, it's been really something that's dragged us back and we're still not fully out of it yeah. yet. And, you know, but I think more times than others, this has really felt like we're kind of getting out of it, mm -hmm. but we just kind of need to watch our step and be careful about it. But I think now it's very exciting for us to deliver live theater, live musical theater all over again, you know, without those COVID restrictions. But mm -hmm. what was like that, uh, you know, what was it like that for you as a performer, you know, doing shows in the heat of the pandemic? So I actually uh, joined college uh, right when the pandemic hit. So oh, wow. I, I committed to college like a month after uh, the shutdown and everything like that. So I came into the freshman year really not knowing what to expect. Everything was still sure. new. We weren't doing any shows because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So this past year has really been my first year getting to actually interact with audiences and stuff like that. So, I mean, I feel like we definitely have our scares and stuff like that. Like we, we want to all be safe, especially around our cast members and stuff like that. So I, I feel like we, sorry, I'm trying to follow my words. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, yeah I, I feel like putting this show together specifically was really difficult because it, there's these kids that we haven't, they haven't really seen a show in a while because it's, we've been dealing with COVID. Right. And so I feel like this was a great show to put on for that, to get to bring these families together because we've had all different types of ages and stuff like that. So we're, we're right. getting a really huge audience here. So I feel like it, it really is impactful when it comes to doing this show. And it's, and it's summer. You yeah. know, it's nice outside. Get out. out, take the whole family out. I mean, it's it's really a family experience, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not something, I mean, there's standalone adults that come and see the show, you right. know, grandparents, you know, wh whoever, you know, but mm -hmm. it, this is really, you know, it really feels like a family show. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's great because all the parents and the children can really bond together over this one storyline. And, you know, it's something that they can all relate to, you know, it's not just something that kids understand or uh, that adults understand. It's everything, you know, people understand it across the board, you yeah. know, and that's, that's very powerful, you know, and it allows you to really have a lot of fun with the concepts on stage. So um, now, I know this can be an easy question, but at the same time, an intimidating question for some. What is your favorite musical number out of the show? Oh, I would say for one that I'm in, I definitely love Poor Unfortunate Souls. Yes. I mean, I, I don't, I literally don't sing at all very, in the number. Very few <laughs> cast have actually brought that up as their favorite. Yeah. That is my personal yeah, favorite. Yeah, so. it's such like an enticing number to be in. Um, I mean, it's it's something especially caroline who plays ursula so yeah. captivating and i feel like me and gus who play flotsam and jetsam yeah. really have to go off one of another the entire performance Certainly. and so for that song in specific i feel like it's just extremely fun to be in especially getting to see the kids we've had just people boo us and like cry just because it's scary i guess sure, yeah. <laughs> and so i feel like it's it's been really fun to perform especially just ending the act for that number has been extremely fun you definitely add a lot of excitement and like that can't be feel to the show you. and you know it, it's memorable you and you and gus work so well together and in in those roles and you know you definitely support caroline and her role being ursula and you know just really feeds so well together mm -hmm. you know it's, it's hard to really say and i think i was talking to this about uh, something very similar to this with Wesley Clerget, you mm -hmm. know, about, uh, you know, how Disney finds ways to connect with us and we don't really understand why it's touching us in the way that it is, but yeah. we just know that it is and we appreciate it, we respect it as such. You know, we don't look too deeply into it just because, you know, there is, you can't really describe Disney without including magic or enchantment yeah. in there, right? So, and that's what the show is, you mm -hmm. know, it, it enchants the audience, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, to kind of bring this full circle here, in your own words, for everyone listening at home right now, what, in your opinion, what is the number one reason why people should come and see the show? I feel like it's just something to bring a family together. I mean, it's not just a kid's show. I mean, when you think of right. a Disney show, you usually think of children. It's something for everyone to see. I feel like I had my whole family come the other week or 
this week. And they they loved it. I I I feel like it's such a fun show to perform and especially getting to see this amazing talented cast. I feel like it's something to really bring everyone together. Absolutely. No, it, that's perfectly said. And uh, on that note, you, you heard, heard it here first. If you haven't, visit musicthegearworks.com right now and get your tickets for an upcoming performance. And please remember, anyone 25 and under, they get their tickets half off. So please bring the whole family, come out, see the show. It's definitely an experience to make your summer beautiful. So until then, everyone.